Hi everyone, Tawela here from Osha Slings. Um, welcome back. It's uh, release week, uh, the accessories edition today. So obviously I've got loads of really lovely scarves to show you uh, several different colourways, so hopefully something for everyone. And then um, a couple of um, sneak peeks at some products that have come through recently and uh, some pre-order news at the end. So stay tuned for that. Um, if somebody could please share the link into the clan and let me know when that's been done, that would be really helpful. Thank you. Um, so I hope you're all having a good Tuesday. Hi Katie, I see you've just joined. Thanks for coming along. Um, yeah, we're having a pretty good start to the week here. It feels like it's getting really busy, ramping up for um, the festive season, I guess. <laughs> it's, uh, I don't know if I'm allowed to say Christmas yet, but yes. Hi Linda, thanks for joining. Nice to see you. Hey Katie. Oh, morning where you are. Yes, it's good afternoon here. Um, and I think this is the last week that we'll be using BST in our uh, times. Um, I think the clocks go back this weekend. Back? Back. Yes. Fall back, spring forward. <laughs> so yes, uh, from next week it will be a bit darker in the afternoons here um, and probably likely similar for a lot of you. Um, I'll just give a couple of minutes and then unless anybody says otherwise I will assume that the link has been shared into the clan. Um, oh, Daniel has a question. Sound offerings of work, uh, will the Misty Mountain sale be limited? Um, no more limited than other sale releases, so I would say not very. There's about 45 items made in that fabric. Um, I hope that gives you an answer. <laughs> um, so yes, as with some of the more popular ones, probably best to get in there soon if you fancy it, um, but not super limited, no. Uh, hi Mariella, thanks for joining. Um, right, I will get started. So, first one is Ivy Jora. So this one is lovely because it's on our um, very popular earth warp. Just check I've got that. No, I haven't. <laughs> I've not had that the right way up. So on our earth warp, lovely for autumn. Hi Angela, hi in Austria. I hope you have slightly drier weather than we do here. Um, although I think it's been wet in a lot of places. Um, hopefully not destructively so for uh, all of you listening. Um, I know it has been for a lot of people. Uh, so, Ivy Jura, woven in this lovely ecru or slightly off-white, um, oh Linda, thank you for sharing in clan, thanks, I've just seen that, brilliant. Um, so, a tensile cashmere blended yarn in a sort of off-white colour, so it has a really soft effect across the earth warp there. Um, I'll just hold that up a bit closer so you can see how that sits across all of the colours through the greens and down into that kind of russet red at the bottom. Um, so this, I think, would be a lovely piece to even centre an outfit on just because those colours are so lovely and bright. Um, hi Tegan, thanks for joining. <laughs> oh, late is fine. Always happy for you to join whenever you can. Um, so this has both softness and shine with a really lovely drape, so perfect for kind of just um, picking up and putting on for those cooler evenings um, and lovely as well if you want it in a sort of a cowl or infinity loop kind of style um, it's quite fine so it would sit quite well with either of those as well or just to use as a scarf rather than a shawl. Um, and obviously because it's a scarf, although the pattern is directional, you can really decide, you know, which way up um, you wear it. So if you prefer to show off more of the red, then that's possible as well. So that's, yeah, a great way to get a bit of the earth warp if uh, you don't um, have space for another wrap currently, or you're not baby wearing and fancy treating yourself, or a friend, or a loved one. Um, that's Ivy Jora. So um, the blend of that is 84% BCI organic combed cotton, and 16% tensile and 2% cashmere. And it's about 195 GSM, so very much in keeping with our end of warp uh, scarves that we weave on our wrap, wrap warps. Um, so yes, there you go. Pin fringe at the end. So. Ivy Jura. Hi Alice. 
Oh, Katie, I'm glad you like the ivy. I think it really suits on this kind of autumnal, foresty warp. It's a really nice one. <laughs> We're happy with that. Um, next one that Danielle was keen to ask about is Misty Mountains Passage. And this is on our jewel sail warp. So you can just see it's got those gorgeous jewel colours coming through. So that teal at the top and then through into that deep blue and down into that red, ruby red there. Hi Amy, thanks for joining. Um, and all picked out in this lovely shimmery copper weft, which you've seen on um, Braid Avon as well recently. So uh, yes, this is another really lovely one. Hi Louise, <laughs> thanks for coming along. Um, yeah, so very different styles of scarf, as Tegan says. So yes, like I was saying, hopefully something for everyone. This one would make a gorgeous shawl and of course, you know, is really fine and can be gathered up to use as a scarf as well. I'll just show you the back side because that is so, it's so shiny. <laughs> We've been enjoying these coming through. So you could, there's no reason why you couldn't wear it on that side too, I don't think, depending what you have going on in your outfit, what colourways you prefer. Um, I think that one is a really, a double-sided option for you there. Yeah, I think that's probably how I would have it with that lovely bronze showing um, and playing with those jewels. Oh, Linda says, I would love this to be in wrap form. Ooh, <laughs> yes, noted. Who knows, who knows? <laughs> Tegan asks, how limited are these? So um, let me just check my numbers. Similar to Ivy Jura, so about 45 of these available. So not, not very limited. Um, again, just the normal quantity we would uh, make for scarves. But as ever, uh, get in quick. So those will be releasing tomorrow evening. Um, and I've got just as well to show you. These are all, all these scarves are also available as uh, cowls and infinity loops. So I've got the cowl here, the Misty Mountains Passage cowl to show you just to give you an idea. If you fancy something a bit different as an accessory rather than the full scarf, that's also a really lovely option um, to have on. You know, you can wear this and go indoors with it. It's not too thick to kind of keep on and coordinate with an outfit through the day. Um, my personal favourite is the Infinity Loops for that similar reason as well. I think they're really wearable um, and through, through, through all times of the day and different seasons as well. So there we go. That's Misty Mountains Passage. Pop that down. So our next two, as you've seen, we've got lots of shiny things uh, today. So our next two scarves are woven on our um, uh, silver Mako cotton warp. So this lovely three shades of grey, um, oh, this way around, apologies, um, going from a darker grey at the top down to a mid grey and then fading that's so lovely and smooth and shimmery into that paler grey at the bottom. So first up we have Legend of Frodo Silver, um, appropriately named. So again, it's got that really lovely shimmer. Uh, the weft on this one is our really popular cotton and cashmere blended yarn. Um, so got a really lovely cushiness in it. Um, and that's just going to be, uh, oh, so luxury around your neck <laughs> for the winter. Um, so this one is 57% mercerized Egyptian Mako cotton. 30% cotton and 13% cashmere and comes in at about 168 GSM. So because it's on the, the Mako cotton wrap warp, uh, it comes in slightly lighter than our, our normal um, warp weight, warp weight, wrap weight warps <laughs> do for scarves. Ah, oh, there's so many different things to keep track of. Um, yes, uh, so it, it's just got that slightly finer handle and feel, so it really works well um, gathered up as a, a sail or infinity loop. Um, and I'll just show you that uh, in scarf form as well. Uh, so that's, that's it there. And then 
Legend of Pearl and Silver. Really gorgeous with those shimmering colours. Just seen a few questions, so just um, have a wee look and see. Check I haven't missed any. Um, oh, Claudia says Misty Mountain should be her anniversary present. Oh, crossing my fingers for you. <laughs> that would be a great gift. Uh, Tegan says, did I miss the Misty Mountains blend? Sorry, I may not have said that. That is 100% uh, mercerized Egyptian maple cotton. So the weft is maple cotton as well. Um, apologies, I think I miss, I did miss that out. Um, so there you go, Legend of Frodo Silver. And I'll just give you a close up of the reverse. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get it to pick up that texture, but there is a really lovely contrast between the um, the slightly fuller and fuzzier um, texture of that weft against the silver. Oh, Claudia says in the newsletter, it says it's a different blend for Legend of Frodo. I will double check my information or possibly Holly might be able to. Okay. Yes, we'll rectify that whichever way around it is. Let us check on that. <laughs> um, yes, sorry for that. Uh, but in any case, it's really nice. <laughs> So I will move on for now to uh, the second of our scarves on the silver warp. I'll just make sure I get this off. Oh, Holly says, ah yes, cotton and cashmere. Phew! <laughs> that is good. I'm glad. Um, so yes, cotton and cashmere weft as mentioned. Uh, Holly's confirmed that. So. Yes, lovely and soft, uh, and I can definitely feel the difference between it and the other scarves I'm presenting here. Hi Vanessa, thanks for joining us. No problem about lateness, um, that is never an issue here. <laughs> We're all busy, totally understand. Um, so the last scarf from this release is Arwen Dew, and that again is an ecru weft across our silver warp. Um, just see, Hopefully you're getting that there. I hope that moves across. It's a bit like Even Star Mist and Shadow, is that was that what it was called? I have that as a ring sling and this really reminds me of it. Um, so this is woven with a fine ecru tencel and silk blended yarn. So that is um, sort of a similar composition to the one we've used on Ivy Jura, uh, except the 10% is of the yarn is uh, silk instead of cashmere. So very similar yarns. Uh, so this has a lovely kind of weight to the drape of it. Um, you know, when you put something around you and you feel like it's not gonna kind of slip down, it'll just kind of mold itself around you and stay in place. And um, Elise asks, how limited will the sales be? Uh, not very, uh, so about 45 items made in each one. So the usual quantity we would make for sale scarves. Um, let me just check. I think there was a few other comments. <laughs> Jacqueline says, I'm here to see Rohan Muster. You haven't missed it. <laughs> that is coming. Um, great. Let me just check. Uh, cool. So yes, Arwen Dew, um, the sister of uh, Legend of Frodo Silver. So again, about, oh, this is about um, 40 items in this one. So slight, just slightly less, but they all have between 40 and 50 items available. All the scarves I've shown you to this point. Um, so yes, tune in uh, for those tomorrow evening uh, during Secret Stash Happy Hour, and they'll be releasing at 7.30 on Wednesday evening, 7.30 BSD. Um, so I'll pop those aside for now. Um, before I move on to Rohan Muster, uh, we do have, for all of your gifting requirements, <laughs> and you've been asking for new mugs, so we do have Oaken Shield uh, Indigo and Ivy Pine. More Ivy. Um, that is a new colourway, so I hope you can make it out on here. It's a kind of forest green, sort of hunter green type of colour, um, and we just thought those soft ivy tendrils go really nicely with that curved shape of the mug and um, so that's a really pretty one we've all been enjoying that here at osha hq um, and the mugs neither of the mugs are very limited so you should all be able to get what you want or need uh, 
windows uh, release as well, which I believe they'll come out tomorrow night too. Um, so as usual, there's the small design just on the inside. That's the open shield one. And for the ivy, it's got this really sweet little motif with the dragonfly and little berries. Um, Tegan says, are you planning more colourways in the oaky shape mugs? Uh, I love that shape so much. Um, I think there aren't any in the pipeline just now, but we love this shape too. So I wouldn't be surprised if there, there will be some coming along in the future. But at the moment, um, can neither confirm or deny, as they say. <laughs> but yes, I'm, I'm sure there will be some others made in this shape too, because we, we like it. <laughs> it's a good size of mug. Gives you a nice bucket of coffee if that's your jam in the morning. Um, so yeah, Ivy Pine Open Shield Indigo. Um, then I have other things too. So in addition to those mugs, um, we have a new large sized eco tote that will be coming out. So this is Realm of Middle Earth and that's printed in a kind of, oh, I can't think how to describe this, it's like a taupe charcoal colour. So it's a warm, like a warm black grey um, sort of in between. Seems very appropriate to the kind of ancient map vibe. Uh, so this is um, a larger size like our Shire totes that we released earlier this year. So um, to fit everything you could possibly want, a wrap and probably a few nappies and snacks and an umbrella and whatever else <laughs> you, you need to fit in a tote bag because often you need a fair bit for a day out. Um, so yeah, really comfortable size to wear and nice length of strap to carry. Um, so let me see, I think there were a few comments, just try and make sure I answer those. Um, oh, Louise would have liked the Oki and the other shape to fit with the other mugs. Ah, that shape, the, the curved shape is actually a real challenge to get the patterns to wrap around. So we try and be very careful about which patterns we choose to go on it, if that makes sense. Um, so something like Oaken Shield, where it's quite a defined, you know, graphic, um, what am I trying to say, quite rectilinear pattern, could be a little more difficult to execute on that shape. Uh, so that hopefully maybe explains that choice a little bit. Um, <laughs> oh, and Tegan says she's the other way around. We can't please everyone. We do try, but <laughs> uh, there we go. Um, but yes, all your comments on shape noted. So there's the Realm of Middle Earth tote. And we had just a quick sneak peek at uh, a couple of things coming through from our towel peak pre-order. So we've got Carrier here in the Misty Mountains pattern on the deep sea warp which I think is going to just be stunning. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to open this up and kind of show you a little bit, but yeah, you kind of get the idea. It's going to be gorgeous. And then uh, Kelpies on the Spectrum Warp. So that's one of our Jacquard tote bags, which are now um, available on all pre-orders um, and made to order. So the tote. Oh, Alice says, I love that the tote is so big. Yeah, we spend a bit of time thinking about the placement so you get as much as much of the horses as possible and as much of that lovely colour blend on the Spectrum Warp as possible. So yes, hopefully you all love it. We think it's really nice. <laughs> Wishing I had one too now. And um, so that's those. And then just before I move on to sort of end of the video news, of course, Rohan Muster. Uh, which some of you have been waiting on. So this will be um, exclusive to Secret Stash Happy Hour happening tomorrow evening. And there's this lovely, like sort of fine, but shimmery blend across the Mythos Warp. And um, so this again is woven with, let me just get this right. So it's the same weft as we've used in Arwen Dew but woven more densely to make up a wrap weight fabric. So it's very similar in the way it's woven to Rohan Rise, um, but it only uses the um, the jade colour, or no, it's an ecru. So this was woven 
sort of by accident, I guess. So it creates a little bonus for us <laughs> and we get something extra. So there was only about 20 meters woven, um, it'd be very limited. So look out today for the uh, form, uh, think of Google form. Yes, a post we've we'll got today with a Google form to enter the draw to purchase for this and uh, those who win um, an invoice will be announced tomorrow. Um, very limited. Let's see, I should have opened that out a bit more and show you the drapes. It's really thin in hand, um, but strong and great for hotter climates, hotter weather, um, smaller kids when you want um, to have them nicely securely wrapped in a few layers, but you don't want them to be overheating. Um, this will be great for that. Uh, so yes, get in on that if uh, you like the look of this. Um, it's about uh, 228 GSM and the composition is 72% BCI organic combed cotton, 25% tensile and 3% silk. So very limited. Let me just see, there's a question here. Oh. Eva says, wow, and I don't usually like blue. Oh. <laughs> and Tegan says, is it similar to H Hobbit Quest Namaria in weight and feel? I would have to go back and actually look at that one before I answer. I think it might be similar to that. Um, a bit less, if I remember right, Namaria maybe had a bit more silk in the blend. Um, but yes, I might have to come back and answer that question just after we finish so that I know I'm, I'm not... Um, I think weight wise they'd be similar. They may handle a little differently in terms of their actual wrapping qualities and how they feel um, to tie. But in terms of the fabric weight, yes, I think they'll be quite quite similar. Um, yeah, so that is all of our fabric goodies. Um, and then one last thing, because it never got its proper fanfare of uh, introduction. So if when you order Middle Earth Lux items from now on, you will receive your orders in these um, tree beard totes. So that's our kind of new version of a fangorn pattern, but we've given it its own name because really it's quite different. Um, so you get that lovely foresty green and get to enjoy your wraps in that and with our Middle Earth Lux logo there. So yes, <laughs> just an extra thing to tempt you if you needed one. <laughs> And that will just be available along with Lux orders, so that won't be going on the website, unfortunately. Um, so yes, I think that's all of the products. Pre-order uh, news. We currently have our October semi-customs concluding with, uh, they've just sent in all of their weft and pattern info. <laughs> What's, oh, um, oh, Hobbit Quest and Mary is, Top blend for wraps. Oh, cool. Yes. So that is, um, I'm remembering now, it's it's solid uh, barrette silk, but in the finer version of it. So instead of using our three ply, we use it single ply. Um, yes. I think this might not feel quite so grippy as that one does. I think it's got a bit more of a texture to it because of the barrette, um, but weight wise, certainly very similar. Um, so I think it should be quite close. And <laughs> Katie says to Willis, spill the beans. What's the mainline pattern coming up on the silver warp? Any hints? Hmm, water pattern? I might be allowed to say that much. That's it. <laughs> uh, but it's going to be nice. Um, you know it is. The silver warp is, is quite good. We're enjoying that. Uh, so back to October semi-customs. Uh, we've got the Myths and Promised Wonders collaborative collection uh, opening uh, to the groups on Friday at 4pm. Uh, this collection is shared between four groups this time across two warps. So we've got Sugar Plums and Wonders of the Universe sharing the Nebula Warp. That's our deep blue um, warp that many of you will know from our classic patterns such as Star Night Nebula uh, or Puffin's Arasig. And then Middle Earth Collectors and Seaside Cottages sharing the Mythos Warp, which of course you've seen here uh, with um, Rohan Muster. So those gorgeous kind of greeny tealy tones uh, so please join the groups to see the seven patterns that will be released and to get access to ordering when orders open because those will only be available to members 
of those semi-custom pre-order groups initially. Uh, they'll open to the groups on Friday and then um, to everybody for open access on Monday. However, with semi-customs, if they are very popular, there is sometimes a chance that they can sell out before we manage to open it out for general purchase. So uh, keep that in mind. If you think you might like what's going on in there, join the groups and have a look around and yeah, get ready to join in and grab something really unique and non-repeatable uh, that will be just made, made bespoke for it by the groups and their members. So yeah, I think that is all the information for now. Uh, I hope I've given you lots of gifting options and ideas for any gifting occasions you have coming up, <laughs> including of course the big one. Um, yeah, so thanks for joining me. I'll just double check if there's any questions. Oh, Jenny, thanks for joining. Just finishing up, but I hope you managed to go and go back and watch. Um, there's been all the accessories today. We've had tote bags, scarves, mugs, um, a bonus secret stash happy hour, draw to purchase wrap, uh, and some sneak peeks of uh, pre-orders that are shipping soon. So uh, thank you very much, and we'll see you again in a couple of weeks' time with some more lovely things. Thanks everyone. Bye. <laughs>